This is Ken Lecter from Coffee Crafters and welcome to another episode of The Friday Show. Today we're here to talk about how long to let your coffee rest before packaging and consumption. And if you want to confuse yourself on an issue, go on the internet and research this issue about how long to let coffee rest. I heard everything from zero to 30 days. There's a lot of people, you know, the kind of the general consensus is to let the coffee rest for one to three days. Um, a lot of coffee shop owners, you know, they're uh, coming around the four or five day mark. They like to let theirs sit all the way up to 30 days, which I'm pretty sure was probably a Maxwell Health, uh, Maxwell Health coffee executive or MJB or something talking about 30 days because they can't actually get it to the consumer any faster than that. So we're going to put that one aside as probably not something that we would want to do. So to try to make some sense of the issue, I think it's important to look at the science behind what happens to a coffee bean. So remember coffee beans, after you roast them, become hygroscopic. And if you've looked at some of the earlier uh, episodes of, of the Friday show, we talked about coffee freshness. And hygroscopic is a state where something will take on and expel a water from the environment around it, which also takes on you know, the aromas or odors or whatever uh, moving through it. So the coffee bean's really alive. If we look at the degassing statistics, and most of the research comes in at, a, at room temperature, a whole roasted coffee bean will degas in seven to nine days. So at some point during that degassing, we would want to package it because, you know, uh, we know that the CO2 that escapes from the bean takes the flavor with it. So to me, it would make no sense to let your coffee degassed at room temperature for seven to nine days because the aromas are going to be gone. And ground coffee will degas in 12 to 24 hours. So definitely you would not to want, want to grind coffee and let it sit before packaging. Um, it's a little bit different for coffee shops. When they're saying let your coffee rest for four or five days, Remember, they're going to let their coffee rest for four or five days, and then it's all going to get consumed in a day or two. Um, if you buy a pound of coffee for your house, um, and you wait, you're not going to wait and then drink all of that coffee on day four or five, or you'd be a little bit wired and freaked out. So, so here's what we would suggest as a bottom line so that you can kind of cover the gamut with your customers. We suggest that you package your coffee after roasting right away. And if you looked at our coffee uh, packaging and freshness episode, remember that reason is, is that the, uh, if you package your coffee right away, especially whole bean or end ground as well, in a, a bag with a degassing valve, then the carbon dioxide will displace the oxygen. And remember, oxygen, sunlight, and water are the, are the three things that destroy coffee flavor. So package it right away. And if you're a roaster, get that coffee to your customer right away. Why? Well, whether it's one day of rest or seven days of rest, let them decide, right? We're going to get them that coffee right away after roasting so that they're going to get it probably within 24 hours and they can start consuming it and then they will have it through that fraction of cycle, right? I'll go through a pound of coffee every seven days and so I roast it, take it right home, I package it, put it in the refrigerator, and so I'll have it the next day, so it's already rested for probably 24 hours, and then I will consume it through that seven day cycle of it developing. I keep it in the refrigerator um, so that it slows down the degassing process because I, I'm personally addicted to that sweet smell of fresh roasted coffee. Once it loses that, I'm throwing it out just for that reason. I don't care what it tastes like, I gotta have that smell. So, so to make it simple on yourself, uh, 24 hours is a good uh, time for getting that coffee to your customers. Let them decide. If they decide whether it's better after 24 hours or seven days, that's up to them. We're going to get them that, getting that right away. So it's one of the most opinionated issues surrounding this. You know, there's no consensus. You take 100 roasters, you're going to get 100 different things. But just remember the science around it whole bean degasses in seven to nine days, so we want to get in there before that, and 
ground coffee will degas in one day, so we want to package it right away, and we would not want to let that set around. So this is Ken at Coffee Crafters. We've been talking about how long to let that coffee rest after roasting before packaging and consumption. If you have any ideas for the Friday show, uh, let us know. You can email us at ken at coffeecrafters.com or give us a call. Uh, actually, this is a question that came in from one of our, our customers. And thanks for watching. Hey, gotta get down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the week.